Hi friends, in this session, let's see how to merge files using SSIS data flow task merge transformation. So let's go to SSIS package and add a new package. Go to SSIS toolbox. Now drag data flow task to your designer. Now open data flow task and go to SSIS toolbox and configure your source connections. So let's drag first source file connection that is flat file. Now double click to open and click new to configure. Now browse to the source, select all files so that it shows. Now select r1 listing.csv. We have received these files from our manager. Now open, now go to columns. You will see all the source columns and then check uh, the data. Da the, the first thing we have to make sure here is uh, we have to check the dates data is aligning properly or not. While we working on any sources, we have to verify the columns are aligning with their data properly or not. So if not, then we have to make sure that it aligns correctly using some co uh, quoted identifier property. Okay, so here dates are not aligning correctly. It should, date should be in the last review uh, because of some special character uh, in some column, yeah, neighborhood, I think, yeah. So centrum cost here, it should come under neighborhood, right? So this is shifting to other column because of some special characters. So we have to align this properly using some quoted identifier. So let's use a quoted identifier like double quotes most of the cases. So let's use double quotes now and go to columns. So now let's check again. So date, so data is now aligning correctly, right? So this is how we have to verify every time when we work on these flat file sources or Excel file sources, mainly files or, or even database connection sources. Okay, so we, this is very important when we configure the source connections. So most of the times in real time, most of the times we get double quote text qualifier uh, in front of uh, description related columns where they store special characters in the column data. So this is how we have to configure and click OK now. Now go to columns, you'll see all the sources. Now click OK. So we have done with the first source connection mapping and then go to second source again flat file or drag into the designer. Now open flat file source two. Now click new again. Now browse, select your second mapping. R2 listings. Now click open. Now go to columns again. Now verify. So again, the problem is there. So now go to general and use text qualifier as double quote. Now go to columns. Now you will see the data aligning correctly. Yep, then now click OK. Now go to columns. You will see all correctly and OK. So now we have done with two source connections. Now let's verify whether we can use third file as well or not for this image transformation. Now go to another flat file source again, drag and double click, new, browse, select R3 listings, open, columns, and then go to general again. Now use text qualifier again, columns, now OK, columns, click OK. So we have defined all the source connections here. Now let's go to merge transformation to merge these files and you will see the difference. So now I want to show you the difference between and when to use this union all and when to use this merge. Actually both transformations can be used uh, to merge files. So for this type of task, we can use merge or union all. So in this session, let's see both. So now let's try to use merge. Now let's drag flat file source first one into merge and select merge input one. So and then select second one. Now the input has sort key positions assigned to their correct columns. So 
in order to use merge transformation the source we have to define source our data is in sorted order so let's make any this flat file sources as sorted let's indicate by changing our property so now right click on the flat file source show advanced editor go to input output now go to output columns so first we have to set a property here flat file source output is sorted yes i want to set this as is sorted equal to whether the data is sorted or not it doesn't matter we have to indicate this image transformation as the source is sorted so setting this sorted is sorted is not enough so this is just an indicator to uh, tell image transformation as the source is sorted but based on what column it should sort we have to define that as well so let's go to output columns and use any of your unique identifier as a sorting priority so let's i'm using id column here now let's change the sort key position to one so one sort key position is mandatory for flat file or for any source connection to use image transformation so i have defined id as one sort key position if you want to uh, sort based on multiple columns then you can set you can go to another column and you can set the position as two so like we write sql queries order by column one column two column three here as well we have to use that sequence to set order in the source so now we have set this sort key position as one and we have indicated the source is sorted true now click ok now follow the same step for other connections as well so going to here change to true and then expand output columns id and change sort key to one now click ok so now we can use match so it's already mapped match input one is mapped match input two is mapped and output column name alias is also taking it as default based on this source column names now click ok now let's try to use let, let's try to combine this third connection as well into match so it's not allowing because match transformation has limitation to use only two inputs so we can't use match for more than two inputs so let's remove it for now so this is where the difference using union all we can actually combine n number of sources but using match we can map only two sources and also they should be in sorted order but whereas in union all sorted order is not required and we can use n number of sources so that means output of merge gives you that result set in sorted order if the sources are in really sorted order here in our case we actually didn't sort our source data is not in sorted order but we have forcefully set the sort key indicating that these sources are sorted because i just want to match i don't want any sort order in the result set okay we have just indicated as the sources are sorted but these are actually not sorted okay now let's try to view the data uh, how it looks like in the match output let's take uh, any any dummy transformation like let me take union all again here yep let's take union all and just drag here into union all and open this precedence constraint and go to data viewer enable this data viewer to view the data how it looks like now click ok so it shows the data before it goes to the transformation union all transformation in this case so we use this data viewer to troubleshoot uh, the issues while we are in development stage okay now execute the package
oops package execution completed with errors so there were some errors at this source connection managers let's go to progress and verify the errors so data conversion fail in the column name right so it's because truncation text was truncated or one or more characters had no match in the target code page that means text was truncated so let's go and fix these issues so when we work on this kind of tasks obviously we see you see many type of issues like this we have to sort it out while we develop a package now go to advanced editor by default flat file source takes 50 character size so when we have more than that size in the source then it gives this kind of errors so change the name length to 500 and click ok so change that here in the second source as well change that to 500 click ok now merge again click ok What's this error? Does not match the metadata. Okay, yep. So let's uh, delete the merge again and let's drag the merge again to the designer. Input. Now let's uh, click OK. And by the way, we face this kind of issues again also so when you are working on the ssis packages for the first time or when you start learning if you see these kind of issues don't be scared just delete the transformation or delete any task and drag again and try to map again before you conclude that there was something strange happening okay so now let's execute again so executed successfully right so so the first source has 20,244 rows and the second source has 2,250. So the output, image output is showing the sum of the two source counts, if you notice, right? Let's stop the package again and uh, enable data viewer again here. Now execute again. So data is showing correctly and it is matched. Data from the source, both the sources has matched, right? In the same columns. It doesn't matter if you have names proper, um, both are aligning or not. So you can map those columns here. Sometimes you see the column names in the first fi flat file source are different with the second source. So in that case, you have to manually map those column names by selecting this drop down. Okay. So this is how we use match. So thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So in the next session, let's see how to use union all for the same similar kind of tasks. Thanks again for watching my video.